Welcome to the demo video series for Configure IT. Unleash the hassle-free way to build bug-free mobile apps in the quickest possible turnaround time. This video demonstrates an overview of the user interface and control panel. On the main screen, click on the asset list, and from here, you can view image files uploaded for your project. Clicking on the My Control list will show you the list of controls that you have selected or used in the ongoing project. Clicking on the control list will show you the whole list of useful controls. Configure IT provides native as well as CIT custom controls. Click on object tree icon, this will display the hierarchy of the control used. On clicking it, this will open up the properties action window. From here, one can set the particular properties of the selected control. Switch to actions tab, click to select an action from the list of multiple options provided. In this case, we'll select load action and select an action to be called unload. Click on Conditions tab to add conditions. Moving back under the screen list. Click to add new screen. And from here, you can choose different formats for grid screen, listing screen, details screen, etc. From the multiple choices given to users, to give a great UX experience. Or you can also start with a blank screen. Create blank by giving a title. This will appear under the screen list. Moving to right side, click on the data source icon. Click on add data source. And from here, Select the data source. The icon here will clone the configured data source. Select the screen to apply the data source. Moving ahead click on miscellaneous settings. Select loading view which indicates user that some background task is being performed. And from here set its text. color and its type. Click on splash screen. It's the first screen you see when launching an application. Select the type. Source and duration for splash screen. Click on slide panel and from here select screen for left panel, center panel, right panel. Also set the animation from the available options and set desired width. Select open and close side panel gesture mode from the available options. Also enable or disable show shadow. Click on pull to refresh. This is for configuring an animated view when a table view or a grid view controls are pulled down to refresh. And set text. Also you can set the background image. With alert view you can quickly view any important or urgent application information, click on it. And here you can set the title. Also provide validation button title, in this case OK. Next is default page, it is the first screen that appears when the app launches. Click on it and select the desired screen to set it as the default screen. Status bar is a view that appears on top of every screen.
click to set the style for status bar. From the available options, also you can hide it, by enabling hide status bar. To configure a map, enable Google Map, and set the API key, from here. Click on image cache, and set expiry, in days, after which the cache data will get erased. Click on app settings, and from here set the base URL, used for web services, which will be reflected, in the whole applications. So this was all about miscellaneous settings. From here, clicking on the icon we can configure, tab settings. Click on enable tab, and set the background image, number of tabs. Default tab. Also you can set, particular hover image, and normal image, for the tab. Also select, the load screen, for the tab. Now from here configure, notifications. Click on add notifications. And select API. Set the label for notification, and save it. Click here, to configure third-party applications, like Facebook, Twitter, PayPal, Instagram etc. Click to enable. And save it. Next is screen settings, click on it, and from here, set the font type, size. Color. Set a similar action for a button. For a button, you can set its state from the drop down menu. Also, set the tint color for the picker from here. Click on application settings. And from here, set the navigation background color, image, button color font type, and size. Select navigation button state, from the drop down menu. Set the actions, a label, and button. Set the page background color, and text color, from here. And same can be configured, for the picker. To apply this settings, to whole application, click on apply to all screens object. Select yes, and save the settings. Now, to add notes click on the icon, enter the title. and add a note in brief. Here you can add, project specific, or screen specific, notes, and save it. So this was an overview, on user interface, and panel area. For more information, visit our help center. Stay connected via support ticket portal, or live chat, where our support team will assist you. Keep configuring. Thank you.